Hey y'all, this is Val from Our Forever Farm. I'm going to give you a little tour before, during, and after of the remodeling that we've done the last couple of years. Now this is part one. It's a combination of videos and pictures. This is after the owner had removed a lot of her stuff. Look at these drapes. She had custom drapes throughout the house. I would have loved to have found somebody to make me some drapes for this. I love drapes and it was beautiful. But they probably would have been so expensive. This is the kitchen looking in from the dining room. There's really not a dining room, but it's a like got a chandelier in the great room. But I wanted to show you these appliances. Spotless. I asked her, I said, did you ever cook? And she said, all the time. Every day she was here. This house was built in 1973, and it was a vacation home for a sweet, sweet couple. They actually wrote a book here uh, together, I, and we've got the book. She honored us by giving us the book. Look at this refrigerator. I mean, I could have lived with this kitchen, but Sweet Hunter and my daughter did not think I would be happy with it. But look at it. I mean, it really is an awesome kitchen. But they know I don't like closed up, and I would have felt closed up in there. So you'll see what we do later on with it. Every house we've ever lived in, we have to make it ours. Look at the carpet. Now, y'all won't believe this. This was the green shag carpet, and it didn't have a stain on it. And I just loved it. I loved the build-ins. I loved everything about it. But when we bought this house... We fell in love with it on the outside. We loved the dock. We loved the lake. We loved the, we just loved everything outside. We probably would have bought it without seeing the inside. And it was immaculate. See the drapes? She had custom made drapes in about every room. I wish I could have found somebody to make drapes, but I couldn't because I actually love drapes. But it needed updating, so we had to do away with those. And um, these are just a few things that she left in the house and or that we bought. Uh, this this is just a, it's a wonderful house. It's a got a beautiful view, and I want to show you what we have took it and done with it. And that's not counting part two that's coming up, which is what we've done lately. That front door I'm showing you right there, that was custom made. All her doors are custom made on the main level. Just beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now, we had went shopping for wood when we bought the house, and we found this and fell in love with it. And you'll see that later on as we lay it on the floor, and I, I love it. It's just beautiful. I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to ask Sweet Hunter in case anybody wants to know. I'll put that in the description box. Now, the lake was at Winter Pool, which means it was low, but I'm telling you, it was still beautiful. One thing Sweet Hunter loved about our dock is that, and I'll show you the dock on part two or three. We're going to have several parts on this, but at our dock, it's 20 foot deep. So he wanted deep water, and it is just beautiful. Look at the view out our window. Nobody paints a picture like our Lord. Isn't that gorgeous? When we found this house, we were riding around looking for a house, and our daughter's with us, and she said, wasn't that a for sale sign right there? It was the tiniest for sale sign you've ever seen. It was so small. We pulled in the driveway, looked around. Everything was closed up on the house. You couldn't see in it or anything. But um, we fell in love with the yard, the dock, everything. But I just knew it wasn't possible. But, you know, with the Lord, everything's possible. So um, I was very homesick. I wanted my stuff. My stuff had been packed up for so long. I wanted to be home. I was tired of eating out. I wanted to cook. This is a little, this is the part of the, this is the basement. And this, I'm telling you here that Sweet Hunter is going to build two closets there. This was concrete walls and concrete floor. We actually kept the concrete floor. 
And this is the view for any guests that come. Uh, now, her husband had meetings and luncheons down here. They had two big picnic tables down here. But we're going to make it uh, very nice for our children and any guests that we have. It turns out we sure didn't downsize. We ended up uh, upsizing. This is the bathroom downstairs. Didn't have a shower. Just had an old sink and old commode. And like I said, they didn't use this part except for, you know, little luncheons and things. There's Sweet Hunter with the wood he picked out. Actually, I'm the one that fell in love with it. And it's just, it was beautiful. Now, this is during our remodel. This is when we started all the work. I wanted a pantry, so he built me a pantry. What mama wants, mama gets. There's the wood floor on the that we're putting on the floor. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> we love... My husband has been a carpet salesman for our whole married life. And we, the last few houses, we have not had any carpet in our house. We've had wood. Uh, you just saw my stove. When I unpackaged this stove, I started singing that song, Isn't She Lovely? Because she is lovely. Now, this is... Later on, we moved in, we're in the house several months without a kitchen, and added the kitchen while we were living there. That was so hard to do, not to be able to cook, but it was worth the wait. As you can see, it's all coming together. I actually designed this kitchen myself. Sweet Hunter, use it, isn't she lovely? I love it. Uh, Sweet Hunter usually designs everything in our houses, and uh, I actually went to bed one night just thinking on how to design this kitchen, and I came up with this plan. I wanted it to be part of the great room, and I wanted it to be pretty, and I wanted it to be very functional, and I wanted a pantry, and so that's what we did. So, here's where we just got our granite. We were so excited. We had granite. We still couldn't cook, but we had granite and cabinets and a pantry. Now, I used it like this for a long time. Here, we were cooking in it, but we didn't have a backsplash. It took forever, but then Sweet Hunter got that done, too. He started on that backsplash, and he went and picked it out. He picked out a vintage subway tile. I love it. I could not be happier with it. I love the vintage look. Here's where they're grouting it. I was so happy with it. And it looks so good with the cabinets. It looks so good with the granite. Look at that. It looks old, but it's not. I just think it's beautiful. Of course, I fell in love with the kitchen. And a kitchen makes a home to me. And I got to cook, y'all. Then we got our furniture. Well, I think we got our furniture before. Yeah, we got our furniture before we did the kitchen. And I started hanging a few things on the wall. Now, this is afterwards. This is after the remodel. And I'm showing you my kitchen. This is the way it looks today. I'm displaying a very few of my iron skillets, but they are hanging on the wall. I love iron skillets. This is our great room. That's some fish that Sweet Hunter caught and his biggest deer that he ever shot. And there's that front door again. I just love it. I picked out the lights. Sweet Hunter picked out most everything in the kitchen except the stove and probably the light. Well, we picked out the lights together. I put the refrigerator in the pantry. I just didn't want it out in the great room. And I think it looked real nice. We've done that in a house before, and I really like it a lot. But I love everything about the kitchen. I think it's just absolutely beautiful, and it's perfect for us. Oh, let me tell you this. If you haven't ever had the deep drawers in your cabinets, the deep drawers that hold the pans and things, oh, I love those. I think I'd rather have the drawers than cabinets. I wish I had more of them. I love my farm sink. I've had a farm sink in the last couple of houses, and I, I love them. And like I said, I put the refrigerator in the pantry. We'll do a whole pantry tour soon, 
because I've got more than this on my pantry. But that works for the kitchen area. Now this is our master bedroom. Uh, that, look at that picture. The kids had it painted for us. That quilt on my bed was a quilt my mother made. And this is our bathroom. All we did here was change the hardware, the faucets. We raised the vanities a little and just painted. We kept everything basically, you know, like it was, just updated everything. There's another view of the quilt that my mom made. We lost her this year, and I'm proud to have that quilt. I've actually got a video on that. Now we're moving into the sunroom. This sunroom has the most beautiful view of the whole place. And honestly, there's a window just about in every room of this house. It's beautiful. We bought us a love seat where we could sit there in the mornings and drink our Coke and coffee. And there's my farm table. I thought my daughter had sold it, but she saved it for me. So I was very excited when she surprised me and brought that here. I love it. That's a table runner the kids had made for me, and it has some of my most prized pictures on it. I just think it's beautiful. Now that table I've got in my sunroom right there, I serve our food on it. I keep our desserts on it. I've got uh, paper towels on it, cups, our ice machine. Very, very nice to have. That table was actually left here. I actually bought it from her, and you can see it in the previous pictures that I showed before. Now we're going into the guest room. And this is this is my mom's bedroom suit, y'all. And those dolls on the bed, she made them. It means a lot to me. Uh, this guest room has a very nice bathroom, too. It's almost as nice as the uh, master bathroom. I just think it's beautiful. We put a wood, uh, not a wood tile, we put a tile that looks like like wood on the floor and we kept the shutters that are in the uh, on the windows and I just love it a friend gave me this picture and I love it so beautiful now we're coming back out into the guest room and I wanted to show you the view from here from this room it's just gorgeous just gorgeous love it And now we'll go back out into the great room. It's a really simple plan. The uh, lady we bought it from gave us the house plans. I'm excited to have them. But I think it turned out just beautiful. I love it. Now I'm gonna take you to our guest area. This is where our kids and any guests that we have will stay. It's, it's, it's going to be really nice. I think you saw before in the pictures it had concrete walls, concrete floor. We actually kept the concrete floor. Now, this room right here, the couches will sleep two. They're queen-size beds, both of them. And I've always got a puzzle out here. My friend Kathy uh, introduced me to putting puzzles together, and I needed to get to doing that, but my kids love to do it, so that's what counts. Uh, but I love these two couches. I, I think they're perfect. We just pull them out if we need more sleeping room. This coffee table I bought in an estate sale. And that checkerboard right there, my daddy made when he was in the Navy. This map of the lake, uh, the lady that we bought the house from gave it to Sweet Hunter. I think it's gorgeous. And this bed is my Granny Gribbles. I wouldn't take anything for it. We're not set up yet. I don't even have pillows for it or the nightstand here. We just moved it in, but it's in the same room. So we can actually sleep six in this room. And there's our sweet family. Here you can see the closets that I was telling you about earlier. Right there's the two barn doors and Sweet Hunter put closets in there. This was concrete walls and he put this tongue and groove pine. I think it's beautiful. This little fireplace, it works great in here. It'll warm this place up really quick. It's just a little electric fireplace. And you can see anybody that stays here has a beautiful view. Our happy place. This is actually the bed that was in the master bedroom when we bought the house, and I got it and painted it green. It's a king-size bed. Be our guest, whether you come in to visit or just to rest. When you enter our home, may you be blessed. I love that. 
And the reason I painted that bed green, Sweetener says I keep everything neutral all the time, so I showed him. Now that shift robe right there, that was my Granny Gribbles too. And the quilts on it were made by, mostly by her and my grandmother and my granddaughter and my, and me. See, I painted that chest green too. Now remember the bathroom that only had the little sink and the commode and no shower? Well, look at this. I love it, how it turned out. Sweet Hunter did so good. And this, the lady left for us that we bought the house from, I think it is the cutest thing. No job is done till the paperwork's done. I love it. We took the leftover floor tile in our bathroom and put it on this shower and then just put the pebble tile in the bottom. It turned out really, really pretty. We bought the little vanity at a salvage place and the mirror we got at, I think, at Hobby Lobby. Look at this. I want to hold your hand at 80 and say, baby, let's go fishing. Here's another view of my green bed. I love that little pill. I've had it forever. Sweet dreams. And that little church nightlight, we had gave that to Mama when she lost her kitty cat. So I got it when she passed away. I just love this little room. There's more to see. There's uh, more coming, part two, so y'all make sure and stay tuned. This is where my kids have a ball. They just love it down here. They've got their own patio, their own view, our happy place. It sure is good to be home, y'all. There's no place like home. Home is the nicest word I know. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure and watch part two. Y'all go cook something.